Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, Ramadan is the month of generosity. Ibn al Qayyim, rahmatullahi alayhi, said, The Prophet وسلم, used to love spending so much that his joy of spending would be more than the joy of the person receiving the charity from him. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he not only spent, but encouraged others to do it by him practically doing though and by verbally encouraging the companions radiallahu anhum. And they were indeed a unique generation who followed into the footsteps of their Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and spent. And they would spend more in Ramadan for the following reason. Number one, it is to be in accordance with the practice of their Prophet وسلم, who used to spend, as Ibn Abbas said, who used to spend a lot, but in Ramadan, he was faster in spending than a blowing wind, a fast blowing wind, meaning he was very fast and very generous in Ramadan. So they would adhere into the sunnah, uh, to the sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, by doing that, and that's why they would spend more in Ramadan. Because it's a source of Provision. The Prophet وسلم, said, Allah says, O son of Adam, you spend and I will spend on you. I will provide you. So that's a promise from Allah جل, to provide for us when we spend charity. Because there's a warning to those who refrain from uh, spending charity. The, the Prophet وسلم, said to Asma, do not hold back from spending charity. Otherwise, Allah جل, will hold back from providing for you. So that's, that's serious. That's a warning that should be considered when shaitan comes and tries to uh, prevent you or hinder you from spending charity. Uh, spending charity is a sign of faith. The Prophet ﷺ said, spending charity is a sign proving the soundness of faith, the truthfulness of faith. Uh, and it is also uh, a gate leading to Jannah. The Prophet وسلم, said, whoever spends a charity purely for the sake of Allah جل, and he dies, he ends his life like this, Allah جل, will, by virtue of that, will admit him into Jannah. A lot of times when we want something, we go to our parents and say, oh, please supplicate for me, I, I need this done. Or someone might walk up to the imam in the masjid uh, or a scholar in his community to say, Shaykh, I, I, this is what I'm going through. I need your dua for this. Well, you will receive the dua of the angels who are infallible when you spend charity. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, uh, Every new sunrise, two angels descend. And one of them says, O oh Allah, increase, give more to the one who spends in charity. So there you go. A dua special to you from the angels who are infallible. Uh, pandemic is there. You have an ill one, a loved one who's infected, or a close friend, or a relative. The Prophet Wasallam gave us a way to treat them by means of charity. He said, treat, cure, give remedy to your loved ones who are ill by virtue of spending charity. Spending charity is uh, a way to expiate sins. The Prophet ﷺ said, spending charity wipes out sins as water extinguishes fire. So that's taken care of. You spend and your sins are gone. On the day of judgment, when the sun comes closer to people and people start sweating, it becomes a miserable situation, terrifying situation. No one can tolerate it. Well, during that period, those who spend in dunya, those who's uh, habit was to continuously spend for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal will be a, in a different situation. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, 
the believer will be under the shade of his charity on the day of judgment. Until Allah Azza wa Jal establishes accountability for all people. Spending, charity is, you spend a thousand dollars or a thousand pounds or euros or rials or dinars or what have you, rupees, is not, does not get recorded as just that. The Prophet ﷺ said, whoever spends a charity from a, a lawfully earned source, so it cannot be ill-gotten. Allah Azza wa Jal will accept it and Allah only accept that which is lawful. And He takes it with His right hand and He increases it for Him. Just like one of you would be raising his baby horse until it grows. Until the charity and in a narration as small as a date would become uh, the size of a huge mountain. So the the uh, don't say I, I'm I'm not a rich person. I cannot spend thousands. I can only spend ten or fifty or twenty. Do so, because Allah Azza wa Jal will increase it for you, and you will see the reward in the hereafter. Finally, the scholar said spending charity during Ramadan is more rewarding because. It is an honorable period. It's an honorable season. And by virtue of this honor for the season, the reward is multiplied. And because it is a means of helping those who are fasting and are limited in their resources to go on with their fast comfortable. We ask Allah Azza wa to enable us to spend charity, Allahumma ameen, and repeatedly spend charity, Allahumma ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.